Hey guys, I'm Cheryl and I am the Carb Addiction RD. So I've been doing a lot of really deep dives into the world of ketones and I'm kind of excited to share some of what I've learned with you um, very soon, but it means that I've been doing a lot of testing and implementing different ways of boosting my ketones or seeing how I perform with higher levels of ketones. And so right now I'm about to go out and play some tennis. So I want to know what my ketone levels are because there is some thought that that might improve my cognition um, throughout sports. So what I would like to do is show you how to measure your blood glucose and ketones and kind of give a quick breakdown as to what the numbers mean. Now there are a number of different devices out there, but I personally like to use the Keto Mojo. Now I don't get any kickback for this, but if you are interested in purchasing your own Keto Mojo device, there will be a link in the show notes later. Um, I'm a big fan of them, so just as an aside, my device actually broke last week. I was just getting error messages. So I sent them a quick video of what was happening, and before you knew it, they had sent me a whole new device. So they're a pretty amazing company. You know, I feel like customer support for so many companies has been really eroded lately, um, but they're really top notch. So awesome. Let's go on with what we do with my new Keto Mojo device. All right, so you get the strips. So the brown ones are glucose and the blue ones are ketones and they come all wrapped in foil to keep them fresh and working nicely. And this is what we call a lens. Now, I don't want you guys to be afraid if you've never used one before. Yes, you're going to prick your finger and draw a drop of blood, but it really doesn't hurt that much. And there's a dial here that you can adjust how deeply the plunger goes. So for example, I have a pretty good blood flow, so I only do a two and it's just a very light prick. So let's go through what that looks like. Um, the lance that they uh, deliver with the device looks like this, um, but you can buy replacements at CVS when you run out, which will be a lot cheaper. So when I, um, I've opened up a couple of the test strips from the foil packets, that's what they, those look like. All right, so let's put the lance into the device. So you twist it to open it and insert it, then remove the safety tip. So that's sharp, but it doesn't hurt, I promise. All right, so now what I do is I place it on my finger. You can use any finger or toes if you happen to be um, the baby of Dr. Sivas who lands on needles. Just a little joke. Um, all right, so I put it here and then I, the plunger is here. So I'm just gonna do that and it didn't even hurt, all right? And then I just squeeze it to make sure I get a nice blood drop. So I can show you my blood drop. So I take my device and I'm going to test glucose first. So you put it in the top like that. And that's what you get. It's ready when it beeps. So I just put it onto the edge of the blood drop. When it beeps, it's gotten enough blood to um, pull up the drop through osmosis, and now we get a reading of my glucose is 77. All right, so I'm going to take that one out, and now I'm putting in the ketone strip. And I'll do the same thing, put it into the blood drop. This one takes a little bit longer. Oh, and I should mention that before I do this, I do wash my hands to make sure I'm not plunging any bacteria into my blood. All right, so my ketones are 2.7. So I typically run pretty high in ketones because I don't consume any glucose. Um, I will tell you right now that it is almost 2.30 in the afternoon and I've not eaten anything today, but I did have a cup of coffee with cream earlier today. I've just been sitting around doing my notes, so my ketones are nice and high and I'm fueled up and ready to go hit some tennis balls. Thanks for watching and if you are interested again, check out the show notes for a link to buy your own Keto Mojo device and don't be afraid, it doesn't hurt, um, but you're going to find out now why it's so important. So, oh, one other thing that I would do is if you go to the Keto Mojo website, you can um, look through a lot of their other videos of how to use it, but one thing that they do is called the GKI. So that's the Glucose to Ketone Index. And they have a nice little chart that tells you, um, associates how deep you are into ketosis based on your GKI and whether you want that for weight loss, for medical management of different 
um, chronic diseases or epilepsy. So it's kind of a neat little chart. So let's calculate mine. All right, so I take my glucose of 77 and I divide that by 18 to go from milligrams per deciliter to millimoles. Um, anyway, that gives me 4.27, and then I divide it by what my ketones were, which was 2.7, so divided by 2.7, and that gives me a GKI of 1.58. Now that's pretty deep ketosis. Um, anything between one and three is considered therapeutic. And, but again, I run pretty high generally, and this isn't my fasting number. So for example, in the morning for fasting, my glucose is usually also typically lower, but my ketones might also be a little bit lower. Um, now I'm just running a little bit high because it's been a very long time. I haven't eaten since last night at dinner. Um, but just kind of give you a little bit of an understanding of what those numbers are. If you go to their website, there's a really nice breakdown of what your numbers might mean. And like I say, in future videos, I'm going to try and go a little bit more into detail so that you guys have a better understanding of ketones too. Awesome. Thanks for watching. I'm off to the courts. Bye.